Let's embark on a wild thought experiment. What if we could magically travel to all our ancestors in chronological order? Could we talk to them and actually form some connection? And just how far back can we go while still connecting with them? Well, let's see. Primates were the funky cousins of other mammals. Around 85 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period, they went their own way and became the first of their kind. Human evolution is very complicated and we can't draw a distinctive line on where it started. But we're going to start with hominins. Hominins are a group of primates that include all the species leading up to Homo sapiens. So, imagine you hopped in your super cool time machine and landed in the past, way back when hominins were chilling around. What would happen? First off, you'd spot these quirky creatures roaming around with their short, hairy bodies, curious faces, and big eyes. They might look a bit different from you, but that's part of the fun. They were excellent climbers and incredibly curious about the outer world. They munched on fruits, nuts, and whatever they found in nature. And yes, surprisingly, humans aren't meat eaters by nature. Originally, we all were vegans. Of course, with them, you can forget about proper communication. But still, primates are incredibly smart. So, a good old game of charades could do the trick. Mime your way into their hearts with friendly gestures, and they'll be thrilled to see a futuristic traveler like you. These hominins were curious beings, so they'd probably be very interested in you if you were friendly with them and gave them some food. Next, let's move on to Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Their period, the Stone Age, started about 2.6 million years ago. As you can guess, it was the time when we started using stone tools. The Stone Age lasted for roughly 3.4 million years and ended between 4000 BCE and 2000 BCE. It ended with the beginning of metalworking. Homo habilis, or handyman, was like the MacGyvers of the Stone Age. These crafty creatures were the first to use stone tools. And Homo erectus was the upright man. They were a bit more recent. As their name suggests, they were the first to walk on two legs like us. They might have looked a bit different from modern humans, but still. So what were their lives like? Well, they still were true survivors. Homo erectus loved to explore and tinker with things. They made simple stone tools, like sharp rocks for cutting and scraping. They were basically the early inventors. Homo erectus was quite adventurous. They left Africa and traveled to far-off lands, exploring new territories. They were the first ones to set foot in places like Asia and Europe. They lived in caves or simple shelters made of sticks and animal hides. And let's not forget their wild fashion sense. Animal skins and leaves were their trendy outfits. But don't think they just sat around all day. They were hunters and gatherers, seeking out delicious fruits, nuts, and even hunting animals. How would you communicate with them? Well, they used simple grunts, gestures, and body language to understand each other. So, if you met Homo habilis and Homo erectus, you'd be in for a wild ride. You could show them some advanced technology to impress them and teach them some new cool tricks. Next on our list are Homo heidelbergensis and Neanderthals. Homo heidelbergensis was like the cool older cousin of Neanderthals and us. They lived around 800,000 to 200,000 years ago. Picture them as sturdy and strong, with big brains compared to their earlier relatives. They were expert toolmakers and loved exploring new places. The Neanderthals lived in Europe and Asia from 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. Neanderthals were super smart, and they had awesome adaptations to cold weather. With their thick, strong bodies and big noses, they could handle chilly winters like champs. Both Homo heidelbergensis and Neanderthals were skilled hunters and gatherers. 
They'd chase after mammoths and other big game with sharp spears they crafted themselves. But it wasn't all rough and tough. They knew how to have fun, too. Neanderthals made art and showed their emotions and connections with each other. With these folks, you could draw pictures in the dirt, dance around, and make gestures. They'd get the idea. And finally, we meet Homo sapiens. Picture this. You're waking up in a cave with your family, trying to keep warm by a flickering fire. The cave is pretty cozy, isn't it? But nope, no permanent homes here. You're part of a nomadic tribe, moving wherever the food is best. Hey, but at least you've got some nifty tools to survive. Grab your awesome handmade spear, crafted by watching others or maybe invented by your genius self. Time to go hunting mammoths. And if mammoths aren't cooperating, just gather nuts, berries, and bird eggs. Stone Age humans were real foodies. They made flour from oats and spiced things up with wild onions and mustard seeds. There were artists, too. Using minerals and bones, they created stunning images and even flutes for some musical entertainment around the campfire. You still can only talk in body language and facial expressions. But Homo sapiens were smarter than their ancestors. So you could even teach them basic gestures and their meaning, like hands up for mammoth and stuff. Maybe try doing a funky dance or a happy jig. That would get their attention for sure. But this wouldn't be the only way to communicate. Stone Age peeps loved drawing and making flutes, so you could totally join in on the creative fun. Show off your artistic skills with a drawing or two, or maybe even play some tunes. Don't worry, they would be impressed by your skills, even if you aren't that far away from them. But tools are definitely the way to their hearts. If you brought some handy gadgets or cool inventions from our time, they'd be super impressed. Just create some simple tool from the future that can make their lives easier, and they'll love you instantly. So, while you might not be having deep philosophical debates with the Stone Age crew, you can still share some good times. Learning is the way to go. Besides, even though life was shorter back then, averaging around 30 years, it's still enough time to find a partner and have kids. Though, um, the dating pool might be a bit limited. So let's leave that topic for another time. Just hold on to that axe at night because, well, sometimes our ancestors would eat each other and like to do some head-dumping battles. Yikes. Let's finish our journey with the Bronze Age, just for fun. This cool era lasted from around 3300 to around 1200 BCE. And guess what? They were all about that strong metal called bronze. It's the time when people got creative and started using bronze to make all sorts of cool things. Bronze is a combo of copper and tin, making it harder and more durable than anything else at the time. Awesome civilizations started popping up all over the place. They either made their own bronze by smelting copper and mixing it with tin, or traded for it with other places. So, as you step into this ancient era, you'll be amazed by the sight of bustling Bronze Age cities with majestic bronze gates, amazing markets, and grand temples dedicated to powerful gods. During the Bronze Age, we finally developed languages and writing. Mesopotamia and Egypt were leading the way with their fancy cuneiform and hieroglyphs, the earliest writing systems ever. They were basically the kings of calligraphy. Remember, the language might be a bit different. You'd be hearing unfamiliar words. But with these humans, you can at least use drawings, art, and many other things to communicate. Anyway, this is what meeting our ancestors would be like. What a wild journey through time. So, remember to cherish our past and appreciate the wonders of our modern world. Stay tuned. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.